Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I'm here to do the Rip It or Ship It tag, Shakespeare edition. First off, I have to point out that I am very on brand with my poster back here, if you guys can read it. It's the one that says, though she be but little, she is fierce, giving us some great short girl rap 400 plus years ago. I love it. So I had the idea for this video because Julia from Shakespeare and Such just did a wonderful Rip It or Ship It Jane Austen tag, uh, which I will link down below. It's a treasure, and I love this so much, and I basically messaged her like, hey Julia, can I steal your idea for Shakespeare characters? And she said yes, I could. And also, I'm kind of copying another um, kind of addition that she did to the tag, but not only have I put my name in this cup, along with a bunch of Shakespeare characters, I also asked Julia if she would be okay if I put her name in the cup, and she said yes, absolutely. So we're gonna have some interesting mixes in here. By the way, I didn't do like all the plays or even like all my favorite plays. I just tried to get like a good mix. Um, some of them are characters I love, some of them are characters I hate, like, I tried for some variety. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try not to spoil, like, major plot points in these plays. Um, like, if I refer to things, I'm gonna try to make it as, like, non-spoilery as possible. So, even if you haven't read these, you should be safe with this video. Also, I have my orange kitty mug. Um, it matches Petey, which I think is very important, if you can, to have mugs that match your pets. Okay, so the first two names, Laertes from Hamlet. He's Ophelia's brother. And Titania from Midsummer Night's Dream, so she is the queen of the fairies. So I feel like there is some divisive opinion on Laertes because uh, I mean, he doesn't get a lot of scenes with Ophelia, um, but in one of them he basically, he's basically like saying like don't get in trouble by being involved with Hamlet, like you know how fragile women's reputations are and things like that. And I think a lot of people read that as like he's trying to like impose these restrictions on her, which I totally get. When I read the play I kind of see it more as like he's acknowledging that there's this unfair system in place, and even if they want to change it, that's kind of a long-term thing, and it doesn't really help protect his sister in the short term. So I kind of see that as him being, like, looking out for her as a brother, but I can understand why people disagree. And then, like I said, Titania is the queen of the fairies. So, let's see. I think Titania would definitely be into Laertes. Like, I feel like she'd be... because he's very, like, heroic and noble, and I could see her being into that, but I feel like Laertes... I don't know. I don't think he'd be willing to get caught up in the fairy politics and everything. Like, he's kind of a keep his head down and do what he has to do kind of character. So I don't think they would work out. Okay, next two names. Hopefully I mixed these well enough. First one is Othello from the play Othello, of course. And the other one is Hamlet from also the play of the same name. Oh gosh, I, I really don't think this would work. Hamlet is like extremely emotionally unstable. Um, honestly, I don't think there's many people he could be, like, happy and have a healthy relationship with. And Othello, like, he's he's moved to jealousy. Like, that's kind of like the whole premise of the play is that him being moved to jealousy based on lies. And I just... No, and like, Hamlet manipulates people in his play, so that would be really bad. I don't think this one's gonna work either. I don't know, maybe I put too many, like, strong personalities in here and, like, nobody's gonna work out. We'll see. Um, the first one is Orsino, Duke Orsino from Twelfth Night. And next is, oh, Cleopatra from obviously Antony and Cleopatra. You know what? These are two <laughs> drama queens. I think 100% this would happen. Like, I can, I can see this happening. I don't know if it would be like a long lasting thing, but they're both so extra and I kind of love it. I kind of love the idea of them just being like over dramatic together. So yes, 100%, ship it. Next name and Demetrius from Midsummer Night's Dream. He is one of the four lovers. Um, he's the not so nice one. And Claudio, and I specifically wrote the one from Measure for Measure. I wanted to have at least one character from Measure for Measure in there because it is a play that I read a lot and talk about a lot. Um, I did not put Angelo in there, however, because I ship Angelo with death. So Claudio and Demetrius. Mm, it could work. I mean, honestly, I have big issues with both of them as characters. And, like, Demetrius, he's kind of changeable, um, I feel like. And Claudio, I guess Claudio is more likely to, like, stick by somebody, but honestly, I think they're both a little bit selfish, or in some cases a lot selfish. So, you know what? I guess I am gonna ship it, but I'm not happy about it. By the way, I have this theory that Shakespeare had somebody in his personal life who was named, like, Claudio or some variation of that, because he has three different characters named Claudio or Claudius that have terrible things happen to them, <laughs> and I kind of feel like it was him getting back at people. So I don't know who this person was, but I have a feeling that Shakespeare didn't like them very much. Okay, next one is Ophelia from Hamlet, and then we also have 
Don Pedro from Much Ado About Nothing. You know what? Yes. Ophelia is honestly in here because I'm like, this poor girl deserved better and I want to see if we can give her better. And Don Pedro is like such a nice guy. Like, he's really just like sweet and funny and fun loving. And if Beatrice and Benedict weren't like so perfectly matched, I could see Beatrice being like tempted by being involved with Don Pedro because he kind of asks her that at one point. I think Don Pedro and Ophelia would do great together. Yes, that makes me really happy. I don't know how many rounds I have in here, but I should have an even number of names. Okay. Iago from Othello, so he is the villain, and Sebastian from Twelfth Night. I just forgot where he was from for a second. So Sebastian is the twin of Viola, who's like arguably the main character. I don't know if Sebastian is considered a protagonist too. Iago and Sebastian, I mean, I don't think it would work. Like Iago is just evil. Honestly, I don't think he'd work with a lot of people. And Sebastian, like we don't know that much about him compared to some of the other characters. But I feel like he wouldn't be into villains. Um, yeah, I, I don't think, based on his past, like, romantic interactions, I, I don't think this would work. So, ripping this one. Next name, and another one. Okay, we have Puck from A Midsummer Night's Dream. So he is the, like, mischief maker, basically. He's one of the fairies. And Edmund from King Lear. Okay, so full disclosure, I have not read some of these plays in a few years, and I honestly had to Google Edmund and make sure that he was the evil one, the one I was thinking of, which he is. He's the bad guy. <laughs> so Edmund and Puck. Yeah, I think this would like absolutely happen. I think this could work. Um, even though Puck is more like mischievous, he does do some things that are like not good. <laughs> um, like things that have like implications that are like actually really negative. And Edmund, like I said, he's like one of the villains in the play in King Lear. So I, I think these two would actually like, I think yeah, I ship this. I think this relationship would work. And honestly, if anyone could handle Edmund and his like evil plans, it would be somebody with magic powers. So, okay, here we go. We haven't picked me or Julia yet. Let's see. Um, Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing. Okay, if I would be me, that would be, and me, yes. Okay, I don't even have to think about this one. I ship it. I love Benedict so much. And even though like, I love Beatrice and Benedict together, like they're like one of the OG hate to love couples. Um, I would 100% shit myself with Benedict. Yes. I'm like really happy about that round. I promise I didn't like stack the deck or anything. And Julia. So, all right, who are you potentially paired with Julia? Lady Anne from Richard III. You know, I'm not sure. <laughs> One of the reasons I put Lady Anne in here is kind of the same reason as Ophelia, where it's like, I feel like she got the short end of the stick in that play. I mean, a lot of the female characters did, honestly or just characters in general who were not Richard. So Lady Anne, like, she kind of starts out, you think she doesn't like bad boys, but she is eventually, like, seduced and won by somebody who's, like, flirting with her over a dead body. Who is, is he her husband or her father? I don't remember. But it's, it's very weird. Like, that whole scene, I'm like, how does this even happen? Like, Anne, it's not your fault that this person is bad, but I don't understand why you went with them. And Julia is, like, very sweet and nice and wonderful. So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna say rip it. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think this would work. Let's see. Viola, also from Twelfth Night, so she is the other twin. And Helena from Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. I actually really like this one. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think Helena could do better than Demetrius anyway. Um, and I really like Viola, and I just feel like... I can't explain it, but I feel like they would work really well together. I don't know why but I ship this. I guess I'm not doing very well. Like, isn't the whole point you're supposed to explain why? And I'm just like, I don't know why, but yeah. And we have Beatrice from Much Ado About Nothing, one of my favorite characters in the world, and Mercutio from Romeo and Juliet. Yes. Guys, we've gotten some good ones. This, yeah, I think they would be so good together because Mercutio, in a way, he's a lot like Benedict. I feel like Benedict is a little more on the, like, good guy side, and Mercutio is kind of, like, chaotic neutral, I guess, even though he does do some good things. Um, but I feel like very similar personalities. Like, the banter between these two would be so good. Um, Mercutio is my favorite character in Romeo and Juliet, in case you can't tell. Um, yeah, this is, like, I'm, like, really in love with this idea. I think they would be so good together. Okay, I think this is our last round, and we have Amelia from Othello. I basically put her in here for Julia. Like, Julia reminded me of how great a character she was and how she was done so dirty. So, this is Amelia's chance, and who is the last one? Who's the character... Hero from Much Ado. 
Yes, this is a good one to end it on. I feel like both of these women, like they're both, they have such strong moral compasses and they both deserve better from the men in their lives. Like Hero and Amelia living happily ever after, just like riding off into the sunset together. What a way to end this game. Yes ship it. Okay, you guys, so that was my uh, variation on rip it or ship it. This was the Shakespeare character edition. I had so much fun doing this. Um, we did pretty good, actually. I was worried for a while that we weren't going to ship anything, but we ended up with a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent pile. Let me know down below what your favorite and least favorite combination was, and if you agree or disagree with my choices. Um, Julia, thank you for letting me steal your idea and also put your name in the cup. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you would be into Lady Anne or not, because like I wasn't sure on my decision. I said no, but I don't know. You could you could probably convince me. Maybe I made a mistake putting Lady Anne in there because we really don't see her in very many scenes, so it's hard to get a fix on her character, but let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video, and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!